himself in, in each area? Or no, have, you, um, have you got a, a team behind that? As, 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 succession? Right, as, as regards to our investigation, we've, we've got team. The, the team has, has a, what I, I say, a split role. So we, we, um, we sit as the liaison across merger science and community safety uh, partnerships. Um, so, and as fire investigators, we work as a team. Um, one of us will be on call 24 7. Um, I was on last night and I was out from midnight to around about half past two um, dealing with um, someone had set fire, he put a hand through an open window and set fire to the curtains. Um, that's the, sometimes that's the, the type of small incidents that we get faulted, but we're available 24 7. Um, we do investigate some big ones. Uh, uh, I mentioned the McKeever murder, um, car park fire. Um, if, if we have a big fire in Merseyside, more than not, we will, we will investigate it, be accidental or deliberate. Um, so, around fire investigation, yeah, we work as a team. Sometimes we may need to double up the investigation, particularly the fatal fires, um, just to, to make sure that those reports at the end uh, for the coroner are right. Also, with fatal and serious injury. What we don't want to do is, is um, be found wanting or something. It, sometimes you need another set of eyes and we have it the incident. So for fire investigation, yeah, we, we do work as a team. Councillor Thank you, Chair. Uh, you talked about the link with organised crime. Uh, there's a lot of links between organised crime and the industrial flight tipping particularly. Do you find yourself investigating that much, particularly in terms of hazardous waste? Um, not fly tipping, not fly tipping as such, we would just refer, we would refer that on the samples back to, to the relevant authority who would, who would make the arrangements for collection. Thanks for that, was really interesting. What my question would be, we have a lot of EVAs in the World Diversity Centre, where partners do go out, the police, tourists, yourselves, myself, environmental health, and what we do, we see fly tipping up against people's houses, we let it a letter through the door yeah. to say we'll be out in a couple of days time please can you move it and we actually try and educate people and also we have skip days as well where yeah. we knock again on people's doors in the deprived areas and say we're going to be doing a skip day can you move your rubbish and that also gives the police and the other partners the chance to say drug dealing and other things like that in, in the houses so that is really a good success for us yeah yeah. yeah 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 can all the reiterate that um we I'm a big believer as well in, it's not a one-stop shop, is it? Probably the time and time again. So I've got a, a street in, in Hyden, um, and it's like, good luck with that, Joe. It's not, we will make a difference. But we will go back, we'll go back. Steve Hickey's on board with that. He's my arson officer. He understands what I want to achieve around certain areas in, in Nosley. Um, and it's that, it's that longer term commitment of we're here, we're here to help. What it also does is by going in week in, week out, month in, month out, it breaks down that barrier, it breaks down that, that uniform, doesn't it? It breaks down that council official, that police officer, actually, Joe come it's all right, you know, it's, it might be a crime investigation, it might get people locked up or whatever he does. You know what, underneath the uniform, it's me, I'm, I'm, I'm here to make a difference. And I, I, I'm a big believer in that longer term strategy of not leaving communities and it's just, you know what, we did we did whatever road, we've, we've leafless today, we've gone and we've knocked on, we've fitted some small grounds and we're not going there again. Some of these communities need it week in, week out. So things like um, the street I'm talking about, a massive problem with wheel bins. The council said, posted a pack through, what's the guarantee that you're going to, people are going to read things, you know, I get stuff posted through, it's, it's, it's in the bin, you know, and especially if it's under the piece of leaflets and, and the free newspaper, it goes straight into the free recycling bin, so I don't, uh, don't tend to, some people actually need that, that conversation as well, this is what you need to do with your waste, that goes in that bin, that goes in that bin, and, and I'm a big believer in, in breaking those, down those barriers and, and spending that extra time. Can I just say a massive thank you, Joe, for the, the presentation.
I think we've all found it very, very useful, very informative. Um, and you know, it was addressed that the, we did have a list of convictions of people named. We got we got that at the Commission Fire Policy meeting. So, I mean, I think um, from us, I think we, you know, you used the, the four P's. I think the first P is to pursue um, as as what the police do, and I think we've got to get that message out there that. We as a fire authority and we as a service will pursue you arsonists relentlessly yeah. and we will bring you to book because what it's costing just financially but what it's costing to communities um, and everything else and the anti the antisocial behaviour. But these these decreases that you've you've put up there, they're just uh, they're just remarkable really. You know, yeah. they're, they're, they're big decreases. The, the arson, to, to be fair, the, the arson officers work really, really hard. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're passionate about it. We're lucky, that, and we're lucky that the six arson officers we've got are so passionate about what they do, and they work for a minute to clock on, so a minute to clock on, cut on it. Steve, again, I think no apology for alluding to my experience. You know, the Steve Nicky was off last week. I had to order him on Thursday. Do not bring me on Friday. If I'm your Wednesday, if I'm your Thursday, if you're work, check an email. Do not come here to work on Friday. Enjoy your leave. You know, that's, and, and that's reflected in, in the other, the other arsenals. They work with them really hard. And they buy into, into the strategy. That, that's the important thing. You know, that, that we've got the buy in from them. And we also get the buy in from the station. We've got some good, good watch managers there. And, you know, I'm, I'm blowing up, blowing the trumpets of the arsenals just that I have a day to day contact with. The, the, you know the, the stations as well, uh, and the watch manager on the station, the station manager, the manager station certainly knows the buying into it as well. They're, they're proactive. I ask, they, they give me whatever I need. I just finally just like to say, and you pass on our thanks not just to yourself but to the other, uh, okay. the other colleagues because I think yeah. uh, what you're doing is, is, is not short of a miracle, really. Uh, certainly, as far as this committee is concerned, I'm sure we all want to wish. You all the very best, and, uh, nice. and especially our thanks. And I, I think that's really for the wider fire authority on that also. So thanks very much, Joe. So. Thank, Thank you. Right, we we just have one more thing to do, and that's uh, number five: forward work plan for community risk management scrutiny. So um, for us to consider any topics that we want to. Uh, look at this. this was a topic that was brought up uh, some time ago for us to get to this, so <coughs> uh, the, rapid, the rapid review and then uh, and, and, and that was the system we brought in, so we're looking at that also. So if, if members have anything that they want to put forward now or come at a later date, um, do we let you know, Kelly, or do we let you know, Dave? Yeah, I mean, or both. is there anything to, in particular from the presentation on today that you've seen that you want more information about or want to look at a little bit more closely? Um, it was a very full presentation. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very full. Because yeah. the idea is something like you can hold them up for review yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you can get a little bit more under the skin, you know, a little bit more in depth. That was quite a little stop at all uh, yeah. across um, the role of, of kind of our swimming reduction and the IIT team, obviously, over to other teams, and if yeah. they want more information about us, I suppose. Yeah. C could I maybe ask about the, the organised crime and working with the, the, the police, how, how that works across yeah. the community, really? Yeah. Yeah. Could we perhaps all, also have a look at um, the, you know, the, the issue of mental health and, and what is a, a target at the moment, right at the top of the bodies list, and quite rightly really, but um, the number of people who, who clearly are succumbing to suicide, um, particularly in where it's a problem um, on the M53 motorway bridges, um, I'd be interested um, perhaps to, to know how we work with some of our partner agencies on that, and perhaps also um, with Marine Rescue as well about um, Just going back to the other one, um, Joe's mentioning um, 
the arson officers, but we need to bring them forward to, to get up to Joe's position. Because obviously, you know, he, he's, he's saying what a good job we're doing and that, but we need to... Yeah, the, the arson officers uh, slightly different role to the instance investigation team. I'm not sure that, that your, uh, your question was just such a fan. Yeah, I think Joe underplayed the... <laughs> self-effacing of him because the early uh, conclusion of the court proceedings on the basis of people being guilty is basically down to the excellent work and report writing at the IIT and the level that the IIT officers and there's his and that. And that's only, only occurred because of the investment of the Department of Policy and the Senate to put into, into upskilling them in that team. They are a very small team and it's quite a long journey to get to that level of skill. Joe said he's been doing that for seven years, so we do have a plan in place. Um, so we have other members of staff that were, that were um, so one of the health and safety watch managers is undergoing training as part of the succession planning for that role. So it's not necessarily the arson officers would take, would take that role. But um, and we're also having our fair out nationally now on the FCC website for um, the um, incident investigation team in particular. So we do more both internally to get the right people on so obviously we don't know more So it's not necessarily straight that the arson officer would migrate into the as a Joe's role. Thank you very much. Anything else? It's a completely completely different subject. Um we was on the television this morning with talking about Cambridge and I know little major side suffering as well. It's the mumble of um HMOs uh, being uh, Airbnbs, etc., etc., now opening up, and, and, and there are very little regulations. But, but what seems to become a, a great deal is how many of them are a fire risk and a fire hazard. <coughs> um, and I don't think it's a part of Mersey side that is suffering from, from this kind of thing. I was just wondering, we've got to have a report sometime about what the regulations are, what powers, what authority we do have. Now we work together with. Uh, the, all the Mersey's have the authority, the power authority to, to prevent this, as I think, literally, this, we're just waiting for, for, for the next death. Um, because they're just, these HMOs are just screaming up all over the place at the moment and people yeah. are suffering from it. And um, yeah, and that's quite common for me. I've gone to that. I mean, I don't know how many of us are on planning, I'm, I'm on planning as well. And a lot of our planning applications there are various outside bodies which which can contribute. You know, a, a lot a lot of the time we don't have any contribution from the from ourselves, which, which a lot of the time is, is, is quite understandable because if you look at it, it doesn't really matter. A lot, a lot of the planning members, especially perhaps new ones as well, although mentioning the possibilities of fire in certain in certain new buildings or whatever. Don't realise well, it, well, it's not a planning matter anyway, but it's, it still does get, 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 get mentioned. Can I, can I perhaps have have some can, can we look, look into the way that, that we deal with that with, with, with the, the planning issues? Uh, how far is the consultant? Yeah, how, you yeah, to how far we do go, and, and, and are there certain occasions where perhaps we should say? I mean, the only reason I mention it now is because the, 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 the council plan just mentioned it. There's HMOs, for yeah. example, yeah. and there is a big issue, of, 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 as you mentioned, or, or there may well be a big issue in certain issues that, that, that come with, 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 uh, with these uh, abominations sometimes of yeah. planning applications as well. So perhaps we, we could look into yeah, that. Yeah, sure, certainly take you through the, the current process and then <coughs> perhaps that'll be something for you to look at and see if there's anything. I think I just mentioned what other than what colleagues said, and then many, many of them. So there's no regulations, you know, they don't even go to planning. Yeah. Yeah. HMOs can just be broken. They just open up what Airbnbs or let your houses. Yeah. Yeah. It's that kind of thing yeah. which local authorities don't have any powers, but they are on many a times a fire risk and a hazard itself. And it's just one of the Maybe there's a um, case study or two that we can we yeah. take you through. Yeah. I know there's a few of them now. Sure. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Any more for any more? Okay, I'll just give notice the next date of the next meeting is scheduled for the 9th of May. 
Zullen we ons mij al mee op weer? Zo, en ik kan even zeggen, thanks for your attendance today. Uh, again, uh, well, I'll apologize for the, for the delay, delay in the area one that had to be um, um, postponed, but these things happen when people hopefully for can't turn up on time, so um, at least ours went ahead and I think we found a very important yeah, exactly. Thank you very much and see you at the next one. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.